Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to day two of Bugmas 2018, where I count down to Christmas by eating bugs. Today, I'm going to show you how to process your live mealworms that you have raised yourself so you can use them in a recipe. So here in the US, mealworms are used to feed pets, usually lizards or even backyard chickens. But entomophagy, the practice of eating insects or bugs, is all over the world. It's just more so in the West where we find it a little bit squeamish. So there are several good reasons to eat insects. Number one being they're high in fat and protein. Number two, they have a very fast life cycle, so they reproduce quickly. Number three, they have a very small footprint. It doesn't take much energy or any much resources or much space to to grow a lot of protein and fat. And three, they're sustainable. Or was that four? Again, you can keep growing them and growing them without depleting resources. And number five, they're readily available. You can get them pretty easily. So lots of great reasons to eat bugs. It's just a matter of getting over some of these cultural stigmas. So if you missed day one of Bugmas, I'll put the link down below. In that video, I showed you how you can grow your mealworms or have a little mealworm farm. So right here, I've got my container of mealworms. This is the larval state of the darkling beetle. So depending on your bedding, you can just use something like this, a sifter, to sift out the mealworms, to so shake them out like this. But because I'm using oatmeal, as you can see, they're kind of combined together. So in that case, I just kind of dump them out like that. So in this tray, I just kind of slide them down into the side here, away from the oatmeal. It's a little bit tedious. Once we have our mealworms, we're gonna place them into the freezer for at least 15 minutes and that will kill them. So that's what I've done right here. In this container, I have frozen mealworms. Frozen, but not yet dehydrated. Next, we're gonna take a little baking dish, dump out our mealworms. So now we're gonna take the mealworms and place them in a 200 degree Fahrenheit oven for an hour to two hours until they're nice and crispy and dry. And then we've got our worms. So in their dry state, the worms actually last a long time. If you wanna keep them longer, you can place them in the refrigerator because they do contain a good amount of fat. Alrighty, and here we have them. Here are our cooked mealworms. They're crispy and dry and ready to eat. And they're delicious. They have a really great nutty flavor, dry, crunchy, great texture. Kind of tastes a little bit peanut buttery, a little bit like sunflower seeds. Yeah. Mm hmm. And they've got a great texture. They're delicious. My chickens go bonkers over these. This is like chicken Doritos. This is what we actually use to get them back in their run. We bribe them with mealworms. They love them. They're so good. Chicken crack, I swear. After doing about three years of bugmas and eating a lot of insects and bugs, I've never eaten a live bug before. And apparently you can eat mealworms too. Here's my first live mealworm. Itadakimasu. Hmm. Doesn't taste bad at all. Actually pretty good. When you bite into it, there's a little bit of an unpleasant kind of squirt, but it's kind of sweet and nutty. The exoskeleton, the outside's a little bit tough and a bit hard to get through. It definitely crisps up once you put them in the oven. Much more pleasant, I think, in texture when they're drier. But the flavor of the live mealworm is actually quite delicious. I mean, another one. It's trying to burrow in my hand right here. All right, there's another one. Actually, very pleasant flavor. The texture is a little bit leathery and crunchy at the end, but the flavor is delicious. Kind of creamy, nutty. Yeah, no problem. I'll eat another one. Mm -hmm. I'm like a gecko or something. They're great. Once you get beyond the whole cultural stigma of eating insects and knowing that this is completely palatable, this is food, it's actually quite tasty. People do it all over the world. It's no problem. They're delicious. Alrighty, so that was day two of Bugmas. I showed you how to prepare and cook the mealworms. Tune in for day three, where I show you an actual recipe using our cooked mealworms. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learn something. Tune in tomorrow for day three of Bugmas, where I cook a recipe. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. 
like, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye! <laughs>